بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب زدني علما Okay, fine. So let's uh, quickly uh, go with this summary. So, as per your profile, as we can see, you have been into system administrator roles initially. Uh, that's a kind of a role, system admin kind of role, mo mostly based on the IT support kind of role, uh, based on your previous experience and the current experience is more on uh, working for some company as a wireless engineer or a wireless uh, engineer kind, uh, where most of the job profile is more on the wireless side so where there's no much onto the network scope where you just have some uh, switches basically like cisco and some linksys kind of switches along with the lan setup and most of the configurations are either done or done via geo as we discussed now uh, the overall experience again uh, there's no much of the firewalls as discussed so not much of the firewalls, not much routers, even you don't have much sites, no routers as well. Uh, total overall experience as we can count it as a six plus years of experience, let's say, that's something we can count in. Now, now basically this is a quick summary of the profile, what we have been right now considering for, for the evaluation and the counseling part. So now, now the first thing here, if you want to make, now, now the question is like, uh, where exactly to move, what exactly to use, what are the different possible options you need to look in uh, from here onwards. Now, one of the main thing, uh, first we need to understand when you are working on a system side, now basically there is a very little scope on the system side or the server side, unless you are expertized on that, it means unless you are advancing your skills into uh, Microsoft and advanced certifications, server side, with some exchange or adding some cloud data center or virtualization kind of things, probably there is a kind of a limited scope. So you need to keep on, uh, if you want to progress on the system side, then probably the, the same experience will count where you can just revise the MCSC or CCN network skills. And then you can add some VMware skills for some kind of virtualization. And additionally, you can add some kind of a, a cloud kind of thing like AWS or Azure, which will add you the, the cloud skill. This is more on moving on to the system side where you can advance your skill set on the system side. But again, as I said, uh, this will vary based on the individuals. This will vary based on the locations where you actually work for. But again, uh, even here as well, the, the I, I still see, you know, there is a little bit very lesser scope in this as well, even if you're advancing for the next uh, seven, eight years, or maybe in the future, uh, then again, that is again the challenge over there. So unless and until you are advancing, like you might be working for a data center, you start with the virtualization and then you started learning some Nexus features and then do some ACI, and then you completely move on to the data center, then there is a scope of uh, getting into more into the data center. Or might be you, you add some cloud skill set and then you get an opportunity to work on the cloud and then you start learning, upgrading, and then adding some more additional advanced skill set onto the cloud. So the so the main thing here is whatever the skill set you need to choose. Now this is on the system side. Let me uh, quickly complete the network side. Now the question is okay. Now now the network side is something what we generally focus or what we generally suggest. That's something where you have a, a wide range of uh, scope here. We'll see the possibilities. Now, in terms of network side, now what are the possibilities? Now, there are multiple things, the network side, and then there is a security side. You can just plan. Now, again, or you can just advance yourself in the cloud. Now, the, now when you start thinking about the opportunities or the possibilities, you will see a lot of people suggesting this and that. Now, let's say if I'm more on the network side, I say, okay, just do this. If someone is, if someone, if you're approaching on the security side working or someone is, uh, kind of a successful working, then you probably uh, move towards that side, or maybe someone says, you know, the cloud is there and all. So again, it totally depends on which one you need to choose that uh, completely based on the skill set, what you generally possess. That's the kind of thing. And of course, it also depends on the opportunity, what you get, because you might be, uh, and also based on the previous experiences. So whatever the previous experience you have, that also matters. 
So basically choosing the right track uh, depends on multiple things. Like what is the skill set you have? Let's say you have a, like like as per your profile, your skill set is more on the wireless side or the, on the system side. That's again the thing. But again, as I said, if you find some little bit of lesser scope, then that's something you might want to move on. So again, you have to look out for some opportunities and also the experiences, these options. So let me let me just come down to this side a little bit later. Now, on the network side, again, if you want to advance yourself on the network side, then again, you need to get into some kind of CCN or CCNP enterprise kind of tracks where you can add some, where you, you generally, this is something you, need, you generally add the skill set. And let's say if you are going onto the security side, then probably you again uh, need to revise some CCNA concepts with some security concepts, like either it's a Cisco security covering CCNP security, or uh, you might be going with a multi vendor. So we have the multi vendor programs as well. Probably you can uh, see that. That's something you can plan where you generally learn some multiple firewalls like uh, FortiGate or of checkpoint and Palo Alto, those kind of options. So, so in terms of those options, again, as I'll quickly share some of the options here. Now, this is something you, uh, this is something, you know, you gonna leave kind of a multi-vendor training where you can add, or the other option is you can have some kind of CCNP uh, security option where you can offer uh, any other kind of network security options. So now, again, this is again another program which you can uh, go into network security engineer kind of thing, or you can, uh, now this is something you generally go with. So in the network security kind of profile where you will be uh, like learning uh, multiple firewall technologies, typically adding some multiple firewall skill set with uh, three, four firewalls means you will be learning three, four firewalls. That's a kind of a program you can plan. But let's say if you are to advance yourself onto the network or CCNA, CCNP enterprise program, then uh, you will be going on with uh, another program. We generally have that program. Let me show you that as well. So this will give you a better idea. This is kind of an L1, L2 uh, kind of a program. Now this, this program basically focuses more on CCNA, CCNP uh, concepts along with the technology training with some kind of mock lab scenarios, troubleshooting tickets, uh, monitoring tools, this kind of things. Now, now what is the, now this is something you need to plan. And again, if you're moving onto the cloud, again, you have some kind of AWS as you kind of things which you also plan to add the skill set. Now, which one to choose? Again, it depends on multiple things, as I said, uh, based on your previous experience, you can merge. Them. Because whatever the skill set you add, now let's talk about the skill set. Now, let's say I decided to go with one of the skill set. Let's say I just have to go on network side or security side, whatever, like, like I discussed, you have an option. You just think about might be security side. If you are going for, the security side, like I said, you can go with the system side as well. Now, if you're if you're planning to upgrade yourself and move on with the system side, then you need to add multiple other skill set like the the Microsoft. You have to revise, add some skill set, and then uh, move on with uh, move on with MCSC, uh, MCSC CCNA, and then move on with the VMware, where you would also learn virtualization in the cloud. Now, whatever the skill set you generally add, you need to merge your experience. Now, this is a little bit important because when, so merging your experience is also important because you might not be working on the network where you add the CCNA skills and you might not have a complete uh, working exposure to the VMware or the kind of cloud, but whatever the experience profile you are going to uh, show up, that basically more on system and network side, like your profile is more on system and network, or you can simply say as network administrator, and probably your kind of roles will it's going to equal to uh, whatever the roles you are going to be adding in your profile while you are changing a job or moving to a different company, 
then basically based on the previous along with you have to uh, add the skill set what you have learned means because at the end you they, they don't they are not going to come and see whether you have done in the wireless or not they are not going to see the company profile but as long as uh, you learn some technology whether it is uh, vmware or cloud or enterprise or security or whatever you know uh, again I'll, I'll go with the individual stream when you choose what are the possibilities but whatever the skill set you have you have to merge your profile that is a little bit important so if you don't merge your profile then let's say you say you have been working on a wireless or a system side and you don't have any exposure on the network side then you will be considered as a fresher uh, mostly because you don't have any network side uh, but at then you know you need to add those skill set of course you have to add the skill set at that level where you can show up or where you can, where you can have the great skills of uh, expertizing means you need your skill set should match that level as well so it's not just learning the course or doing the course and labs you have to also uh, take your knowledge level to that level so that you will be in a position to show up that uh, that much of experience on the skill set whatever you add and you will should be in a position to clear the interviews as well and you should be able to uh, clear the technical rounds and other things as well so as i said here this is something you need to plan now as your complete experience is on a different site so you need to choose on uh, considering uh, the market in the gulf or considering your uh, experience or the profiles what you have generally seen so probably the network side or the security side is something you can plan of course the cloud is there but at then cloud is kind of an hosting platform which you can also opt with but whatever you the skill set you have to add that should be a kind of a merged skill set based on your previous experience that is really important because you might like let's say you are working on a network side a little bit and you don't have any exposure to the cloud or on the firewall so you want to expertise on the firewall you want to move on to the firewall but you don't have any company firewall at all in your company network or you don't you have never seen any kind of rules or you don't have any friends who can uh, guide you with some uh, basic uh, information to understand how the things works probably that that is where you may find the problem showing up because once you learn you 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 need to make a profile a little bit of a merge site like i can say like network and security kind of site that's something of most common kind of profile people will go with because once you and cloud will be an added skill set again now if you get an opportunity on the cloud to go more deeper you can also plan like opportunity means like generally people start with a profile with let's say on a network side ccna and then they get some chance to uh, work on a more advanced network l2 kind of a ccn l2 networking new profile with ccnp level skills now suddenly they get a requirement of a, a firewall they get they get some exposure to the firewall let's say their company is also running a fortigate firewall then they get some hands on then they realize you know there is a lot of scope on the firewall then they start learning some other firewalls like Palo Alto or Checkpoint and then ASA FTD all these firewalls and directly move on to the security profile so it doesn't mean that they directly jump into the security so most of the security profile candidates this is the path they actually go with so it's not like they directly jump into the security profile unless you are graduated in a network security unless you have started working on a network security completely that's kind of a rare case but this is how it starts with so you start with the network because even a security profile guy also need to have a network side so this is kind of a profile where you can add the firewalls or you can add some ccnp security profile so which means the roadmap is like uh, you need to first make yourself uh, strong on the network side that will be the kind of a first step uh, which means uh, CCN and CCNP level, as I said, or as I said, if you if you want a quick uh, kind of uh, transition without much delay, then probably you need to plan this one. So that's the first step. If you are planning without any much uh, transition, means immediate, like three months, four months, a uh, quick learning, and where you can also integrate your previous experience, you can merge these things. This is the first option. So you need to have the uh, revise the Microsoft, whatever you learn, revise the CCNA, whatever you learn, because you have not been working on these things much for a long time and learn some virtualization with VMware and other things, learn some cloud AWS or Azure or both, 
and then this your profile will be completely merged and next what you can do is depending upon the opportunity if you're getting a more opportunity on the virtualization and data center you can advance yourself on the data center if you're getting an opportunity to work in a higher level in a company more on the cloud then you can advance yourself on the cloud and if you're getting a more opportunity on the network side you can jump into the network or if you are getting an opportunity on the security side as well you can just learn that one firewall and then you can just start uh, getting exposure to that. So that's how it is. It's not like immediately you can uh, get into these things, but this is a transition phase you have to plan. Uh, first three, four months, select anyone and plan the job. This becomes easier. As per my suggestion, this becomes much easier. And these options a little bit tougher, and this is a little bit more tougher as well. But of course, in terms of, uh, as I said, uh, packages, probably this is the best option but it will be very difficult for you to transition directly onto the security side, considering your previous experience and all those things. So I suggest you to add this one quickly or this one, these two things, and then start working on a network side as a network engineer, because your profile is also on the network engineer, but a little bit on more on the wireless side and the system support side. Uh, this is something what I suggest, this will make easier for you to transition in the future. Like you learn this and add one firewall. So as per my suggestion, you can add uh, CCN and CCNP level and then add any one firewall like ASA. That will be a merge profile with some network and some security skill set as well. Okay, fine. So let me just quickly conclude as per your profile as we discussed. Now, if you are more advanced on the net, I don't really suggest on the system side because again, already you have a system side, six years of experience. So it's like not uh, will be good because but considering if you are a fresher then probably this is going to be the easier track to jump in uh, considering the market in gulf as well you have more opportunities on the system side but again as i said at the end after one year one and a half year you have to start the transitioning process where you have to keep learning any of these technologies and start the transition process that's something the first step uh, the first option what i suggest uh, again, if you're planning for this, then we have that uh, specific program. Let me show you that uh, program so that it will be easy for you to decide on. We have that L1 uh, engineer program, L1 system program, which basically focuses more on the CCN, AMC, CVM, where the system side program, which is basically covered with some uh, real time uh, training as well. That's kind of a merge training because the majority of the problem people face is once you add the skill set, it becomes very difficult for you to uh, get into this interview preparation, the, the CV writing, these kind of things. So that's something additional things will be added to it, which will make the job transition phase easier. But as considering your experience is already six years, so I don't really suggest you on this. And again, look for it. But that's something you can plan for immediate transition, immediate change, or if you get an opportunity. So as I said, the second program, you can go with a network site. That is something you can uh come up so on the on the network side we have this program covers your ccna ccnp program along with the live scenarios because as i said you will be showing up six years of experience on the network side it's very important to understand how the things will be in the real networks that's what this uh video trainings or the configurations troubleshooting tickets monitoring tool these all things will help you to understand that uh, at the end, again, uh, CV preparation, these kind of things are common for all. Again, uh, these are the two options what I suggest. And slowly, once you jump into any one of this, then you can also plan a security side. Like initially, any one firewall. So if you're advancing, if you already have a network side experience, like considering your profile, I don't suggest, but if someone else uh, watching this video, probably if they already have the experience on the network side, I would suggest to add some firewall skill set and that's something you can add up as well. So we have that kind of a program as well, which is more on the network security a kind of engineer. There's a similar program covering the firewalls and the rest of the things are safe. Okay. Okay. So you can decide on this basically, but at the end, again, these things will vary based on individuals, based on the the profile the company you work your experience uh, your uh, many things you know your opportunities uh, location these are all the things matters at the end but this is kind of a common uh, profile what we generally got and this is something what i have been uh, suggesting here